Hi guys, Ran here from Live Active NI. I hope you're well. We're back today with session two of our low intensity workouts. Today we're going to be trying to increase the intensity slightly, okay, so offer more of a challenge. Last time we done three sets with four exercises. This time we're going to do three sets with five exercises. Each exercise is going to be timed, so I'm going to be working for 40 seconds and then resting for 20. If you want more of a challenge, you can work for 50 seconds or even a minute and then move straight to the next exercise. If you want less of a challenge, you can do 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. We don't need any equipment, but if you have some light dumbbells, you can use those. You can just use body weight or you can do a couple of weak cans of food as well. Okay, you can use them as long as you can grip them and hold them. We're also going to be showing you how to modify the exercises. So we're going to be showing you them seated and standing and also showing you how to make, a wee bit, make them a wee bit harder as well. Okay, so before we start, I want to show you your posture when you're sitting in the chair. So if we have a chair, we'll turn to the side. We're going to sit up nice and tall with our feet flat on the floor, trying to lean back in the chair. So sit in the front sort of half of the chair, front two thirds of the chair. And we're up nice and tall, our shoulders are back. Again, we're in a nice strong posture then as well. If we're standing, for most of the exercises, we're going to have our feet shoulder width apart and our knees soft. Okay, for different exercises, we have a slight wee change in that, but we'll, we'll talk about that when we go through them. It's important to get warmed up before we start, guys. So, we're going to go through a couple of wee warm up exercises. So, we're going to work for two minutes just to get the heart rate up, do a bit of a stretch. And then we'll move in and we'll explain what we're doing for the exercises. Okay, we're going to do four different exercises for the warm-up. So I'm going to show you them really briefly before we begin. Okay, we're going to do a wee march on the spot. Okay, bringing those knees up to wherever is comfortable. You can go low or high. And we're looking to use those arms as well. If we're seated, sit up nice and tall. Get those legs going if we can. And if not, use those arms. Swinging the arms back and forth. Okay, that's the first one. Our next one then, we're going to do a punch. So we're going to step out with one foot in front of the other for standing. Hands up, all we're doing is punching out and then punching up. Seated, no different, up tall, feet flat on the floor, punching out in front and up to the sky as well. Okay, our next one is our modified star jump. Okay, so our feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to step out with one foot and then back in. Toes touching the floor and then back in. We're going to add the arms and so we're going to bring the hands up and down. As the foot comes out, hands come up. And you can change over. So we're going to do four, three, four and change. If you want, you can do one foot at each side. Okay. If we're seated, same thing, bring the hand, or the foot outside and hands up. You can alternate each time or you can do three or four on one side and then change whatever suits you. The last one is a ski, a modified ski. So what's going to happen this time, we're going to step to the back or to the side, okay? So step back with one foot, and you're going to bring both hands up, okay? Hands come down as you step in. So we're coming up and down with the hands and stepping to the back with the foot, okay? And you can change that foot after four, or you can go from one side to the other okay if we're in the chair we're going to step to the side like our modified star jump and then bring the hands up in front okay so one foot alternating okay or doing a couple nice side so we're going to work for 30 seconds in each of those and then we'll get a wee stretch and then we'll get stuck into our, our exercise mm -hmm. so today we're going to do the exercise with me so we're changing it slightly so i'm going to do the timings you can work out and follow the video along, okay? So getting ready with our march. Get my timer sorted, okay? So up nice and tall if we're in the chair, same as if we're standing, and we're into our march for 30 seconds. Ready, set, off we go. Marching up, raising those knees to wherever is comfortable, swinging the arms as well, up and down. If we're seated, it's the same thing, okay? Keep it going. Gently reach, raising the heart rate. We're going to change the arms. We're going to push out in front. Good. Pushing hands out in front. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Next one then is our punch. 
one front foot to the other, punch it. Off we go, 30 seconds. Good. If we're in the chair, just keep your flat, flip, flat, flip. If we're in the chair, keep your feet flat on the floor. And punch. Good. Keep it going. Nearly there, another five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Next one then, a modified star jump. So feet come out, or foot comes out, hands come up. Good, one at a time. Out and in. Good. Halfway there. Changing our hands. So we're going to open up the chest a wee bit in this one. So as you start to feel the heart rate go a wee bit, start to get a wee bit warmer. And we'll go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last wee one then, our modified ski. So two hands up, one foot back. Or if we're in the chair, two hands up, one foot to the side. Good. Keep that going. You can do a couple on one side, and then a couple on the other side. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax and shake it out. Good, okay? Check the arms and legs out. We're gonna do a wee stretch just before we get going. So, nodding up and down, chin to the chest, eyes to the sky. Up and down, and then looking over the shoulder, left and right. Good. Hands with the side, we're going to roll those shoulders backwards, big circles. Three, two, and the last one. And then change over. Good. And one more. Excellent. Well done. We're going to Push out the spine in the back away, but you're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart, up tall. We're going to twist the torso, and as we're doing, I'll lift the heel off the floor. So if I'm twisting to my left, we're lifting the right heel. If I'm twisting to the right, you're lifting the left heel. If you're in the chair, hands up, just feet flat on the floor, and just do a wee twist and we turn to wherever is comfortable. Good. Okay, check the arms and legs out again. We're going to roll the wrists, circle the wrists, open and close the hands, and wiggle the fingers. Good. Okay, moving now on to the ankles then. So, toe on the floor, going to roll the ankles one way, one circle, and then change direction, go the other way. And change foot, circle the ankles, and the other way. Relax and shake it out. Okay, so I'm going to show you the exercises. So at the beginning of each set, I'm going to show you all the exercises you want to do. And we're also going to show you how to modify those exercises. Okay, I'm going to work for 40 seconds, then rest for 20. I'll remind you of the exercise for the next time um, in those 20 second rest. At the end of the set, I'm going to take a couple of minutes break. And I'm going to show you the, the exercise of the next set. Okay. So for this one, we've got five exercises, okay? We've got a lower body, we've got a cardio exercise, then we're coming to upper body, back to the same cardio exercise, and then finishing with a wee bit of core. Some of the exercises we've done in the last video, but there's a couple of new ones in here as well, okay? So your first one is your squat, okay? Mm -hmm. So, in our squat, we're gonna have our feet a bit shorter width apart, okay? Turn the toes out slightly. We're going to be up nice and tall, shoulders back, and our knees are soft, okay? If we're standing, wherever you're comfortable, place your hands so you can place them across your chest, if your hips out in front, wherever is comfortable for you, I'm going to place them just out in front. So, knees are soft, we're going to push back with the hips until we come down to a nice, wee comfortable depth for you, and then we're going to press the heels into the floor and push up through those heels as we come back up. So, down to a comfortable depth. And up, we're going to show you from the side. So it's down and up. Remain nice and tall, okay? Trying to lean over too much. Hips go back, then we bend the knees and press up, okay? If we're in the chair, so we're going to work on the sort of quad muscles at the front here. We're going to lift the knee, extend the leg out, 
then back in and down. Knees comes up, out, back and down. Good. So that's what we're doing in the chair for that one. Okay. Our cardio exercise is our star jump. So we just did the warm up. Okay, you can alternate those legs. Or you can step out with one foot for a couple and then the other foot, whatever suits you. Okay, we're in the chair, we're going out to the side. That's the same thing. Okay, touching the toe out to this side. Our next one then is an upper body strength exercise, same as you did in the last video, our wall press. So, hands in line with the shoulders, we'll step back a comfortable distance from the wall, and we're going to bring our chest in towards the wall and then press out. Okay, so press in and out. The further your feet are from the wall, the harder it's going to be. Okay, try not to go too far though. So you get a nice and comfortable position first of all, and then change if you need. Okay, our fourth exercise, we're coming back to our star jumps, okay? And the last one is our core exercise, and we need our cans for this one, our weights for this one, hands to the side, we're going to work on the obliques, the side of the torso, reaching down with one hand, and then back up, okay? And then we change to the other side. So you're reaching down, you'll feel the muscles work on the opposite side, and then come back up, and use your tummy muscles to go up again. So reaching down in the chair, it's the same thing, up nice and tall, lean down and up, down and up. Good. You can use these for the squat as well, so you can hold them at shoulder height, okay, and come down up. Here's a wee bit of extra weight on that one. All right, that's the first set. Five exercises, okay, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, or if you want, you can break um, after 30 seconds, or you can keep going until the next one. Okay, I get the timer started. We're going for squats in three, two, one, off we go. So bend the knees, then push the hips back, down and up. From this side, down and up. So wherever you're comfortable with, you can go to there, quarter squat and back up. Remember, nice, tall, strong posture, up and down. If we're in the chair, strong posture, knee up. Check out and back in, nice and slow and controlled in that one. Work on the quad muscles. 25 gone. Good, so up and out, up and out. Last 10, first squats. Good. Three, two, one, relax, shake it up. Next one then is our modified star jump, so one foot, hands up. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds, so shake it out again. Okay, now remember you can go as fast or slow as you like in this one. Okay, or any of these exercises. So you work to your own ability level and fitness level. Going in three, two, one, star jumps for 40 seconds. Hands up as the foot comes out. You can stick to the one side, same leg, and then change over after a few. Good. Whatever's comfortable for you. Excellent. If we're in the chair, hands up and one foot out to the side. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Two down, three to go for the first set. Next one is your wall press. So hands in line with the shoulders, out and in. Okay? The adoption for this one, we're going to press out and then with our chance. Okay, didn't explain that one at the start. We're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. 40 seconds. Pressing out and in. Good. So they slow control movements. Out and in. If we're on our feet, press out and in. The further your feet are away from the wall, the harder it's going to be. 15 to go. Keep it going, last 10. Press into the wall as you come out. Three, two, one, and relax and shake it out. We breathe it, 20 seconds. Two more for this set. Next one is our star jump again. So in the chair, 
foot out, hands up. We're standing, it's the same thing. Foot out, stand up. Ready, go in three, two, one. Away we go, 40 seconds. Good. So you should hopefully feel yourself getting a wee bit warmer. And you're starting to sweat a wee bit. Okay. Good. We're coming up on halfway, another 20 seconds to go. On the feet, we're coming out and in. Slow pace or fast pace. Okay, whatever's comfortable for you. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Next one's our core, last one of this set, side bend. So hands to the side, leaning down, coming back up. Leaning down, coming back up. Same thing in the chair. To the side, back up, step nice and tall, shoulders back in the chair. 40 seconds going in. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, this is the last one. Then we get a wee breather. Last one of this set. Come down slowly and up slowly. Good. Reaching down and up. So it's important to keep the, the arms nice and long, keep the elbows straight. Okay, don't bend them. So we're using our torso and our core muscles to bring us back up straight rather than lift them with the arms. Coming up and down, slow and controlled, and relax. Good. Excellent stuff, guys. Okay, that's set one done. Shake it out, get a wee drink if you need. I'm going to show you the next exercises. So, a few more exercises for the next set. A couple of them we've done before, okay. Um, we're going to break them down now, okay, while we're resting. So, first one is a lower body exercise again. We're working on the calf muscles at the back. So, I'm going to turn the chair. Chair is just for balance, okay. If you're standing, so you can place your fingertips on the top of the chair, stay up nice and tall, and all we're doing is coming up onto our tiptoes and back down. So these are calf raises. Coming up and down. Good. Okay, in the chair then. Not too dissimilar, not tall. You can have your weight on top of your thighs, and we're lifting the heels off the ground, up and down. Good, so that's our calf raise. Hi guys, for our next exercise we're doing some step ups, so please excuse the camera angle on this one, okay? Um, you can use a step in your stairs if you have them, or you can use an outside step, wherever you can get something that you can just step up onto, okay? Make sure it's nice and secure and safe before you start. Okay, we're going to show you uh, how to do these well, seated and standing, okay? So there's a couple of different ways we can do them, all right? Um, for standing version, we're just coming up and down, so stepping up one foot at a time and using the arms as well, coming up and down, okay? At whatever pace you want, so you can go even faster, okay? Or you can take it nice and slow, okay? Make sure you do it safely, okay? You can also change that a wee bit. If you're not comfortable stepping up and down, you can just touch the toe off the step, okay? For the seated version then, we've got our chair, we're up nice and tall, in our chair, nice strong posture. We can step, okay, touch the toe off the floor, and we can come right up onto that step, whatever is comfortable for you, okay? So that's our step up. Okay guys, our next exercise then is a reverse fly. So this is a new exercise, works on the upper back and the backs of the shoulders, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you need your weights for this one, okay? I'm gonna show you side on first of all. So if we're standing our feet shoulder width apart, nice stable base, our knees are soft or slightly bent, and I want you to lean over slightly, so creating a bit of an angle, okay? The arms are nice and long, so allow them just to hang down below your chest. And what we're gonna do is to raise the hands up behind you, okay? So we're bringing those hands up and down. As we go up, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades and then come back down, nice and slow. Okay, so lean over, shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lean over, knees are soft, and we bring those hands back and back down again slowly. 
Okay, if we're in the chair then, similar thing, sitting down, up tall to start off with hands by the side, we're gonna lean over a wee bit, bring those hands up in front of the knee, and we're reaching back, bring the knuckles almost behind us, squeeze the shoulder blades, and come back down. We'll do one more, squeeze, and release back down. So that's our reverse fly. After that one, we're coming back to our steps, and then we're gonna finish with our wood chop. Now we've done this exercise the last session, session one, okay, it's being a core exercise. So again, use your weights for standing, knees soft, slightly bent, okay? We're gonna have the hands down to one side, okay? What we're doing is we're twisting a wee bit on this one, so we're working the core muscles. So you wanna bring that uh, shoulder over towards the opposite side, and then we're extending the arms up and reaching up, coming back down. So the knees are soft, reaching up, bend the knees on the way down, and straighten on the way up. So twist and reach, twist and reach. So we're gonna do five on each side, twist and reach. So hands come down to the outside of the leg, and then reach up to wherever is comfortable for you. Okay, in the chair then, the same thing, hands to the outside, twist and reach. Twist and reach. Okay, the same on the other side. So it's important you bring your hands up to wherever is comfortable, okay? Shoulder, pain in your shoulders and that, just go to wherever is comfortable. Okay, and that will finish set two then. So we've got our calf raises, our step ups, our reverse flies, back to our step ups, and then finishing with our wood chop. Okay, so we're getting ready to go. Come with our calf raises, first of all, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off then. Okay, so in the back of the chair, tips of the fingers for balance. We're coming up and down on the tiptoes. Ready, set, off we go. So we're coming up and down for 40 seconds. Using the chair for balance. If we're sitting down, we have the weights on our thighs and we're lifting the heels off the ground. We'll show you that in a wee second. Good. Up and down. That's halfway. Keep it going. We're seated then. Up tall, up and down. Weights on the thighs. 10 seconds to go. Last five, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, guys, so after our uh, calf raises start, we're going on to our step ups, our second exercise of this set. We'll come back to this exercise as well for a fourth one. So, a couple of ways we can do it touch the toe off the step, okay, or we can step right up on one foot at a time, okay. If we're seated, then same thing, touch the toe off the floor, nice good tall posture, or we can come up and down with the feet as if we're stepping up. Okay, so go for 40 seconds in three, two, one, off we go. Good, so try and get into a wee rhythm, a pace that's going to suit you. Okay, whatever way you want, touch the toe or step up and down. Seated or standing. Good. Keep that rhythm going. We're halfway. Use those arms in as we're stepping up. Five to go. And relax. Good work, guys. Okay guys, we're on to our reverse flies then, so you'll need your weights. Do a quick demonstration again, so feet shoulder width apart, knees soft, lean over slightly, have the arms hanging below the chest, and then bring those knuckles back behind us, so we're reaching up. Okay, squeeze the shoulder raise as you come up, and then back down. On the chair then, same thing, lean over, hands out in front of the knees, bring those hands behind you. Working for 40 seconds, ready, steady, off we go. Shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and raise those hands up behind us. When the hands come to the top, squeeze for a second, and then back down. Good. 
halfway. Keep it going, last 10 seconds. Exercise, second last Four, exercise of the set. Three, okay, so our step ups again. Remember, we can touch off, we can come up and down, or if we're seated, then we can do both of those touch or step up, whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, two more, and then we get a wee breather. One and three, two, one, off we go. Good. So, whatever pace is comfortable for you, up and down. Or just simply touch the toe. Try to keep your rhythm going. Use those hands as well. Use the arms, get the swinging. We're coming up and halfway. Good. We're standing. Get those arms going. Up and down. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, and relax. Good. Okay, last exercise of this set, guys. We're going back to our wood chops. So our core exercise. So remember, hands are coming down to the side and then extending upwards. So coming down and up. Okay. We're looking for a weak twist in the torso. Going in five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. So twist and reach. Good, so we'll look for five on each side, and then we can change five, and then come down to the other side, twist and reach. Support the reach, whoever's comfortable, okay? We're looking for that wee twist of the torso in, and I'll bring it again. Seated, same thing, twist and reach. Good, last change again. 10 seconds to go. And relax. Good stuff, guys. So that's the end of set two. Okay? Take a wee break. All right, relax, get a wee drink of water. Two sets down, one to go. We're going to show you now set number three. Okay? So, our lower body exercise this time, we don't in our first video, is our lateral leg raise. So we're up nice and tall, fingertips on the chair for balance. Okay, we're bringing one foot out to the side and then back down, okay? As we're lifting the leg, we're pointing the toe straight ahead. So we're not pointing the toe to the sky, we're pointing straight ahead. And we're only lifting the leg, so we're the foot off the floor. Again, we're going to aim for about five of those on each leg. And this exercise will work your abductors and the outside of the legs, your hips and the glutes as well. So looking for five on each leg. If we're in the chair, okay? Sit up nice and tall. We're going to lift one leg out and touch the toe off the floor. Okay, we'll do one leg at a time, or for an extra challenge, you can do both legs. Okay, out and in. Good. Okay, that's a lower body exercise. Next one then is our skis, like we did in the warm up. So one foot to the side or back into the side. Or straight back if you're comfortable with that. And then hands come up towards shoulder height. Or just above if you're comfortable. Good. So that's our ski exercise. Okay, we'll do that twice. Okay. Our upper body exercise is our dumbbell, our, our bicep curls. So you do dumbbells or your can. So you can sit down or stand up, whatever is comfortable. Up. Lift the uh, cans up towards the shoulder. So arms start nice and long. Okay. Hands by the side, elbows tucked into the torso. And we're coming up and down at a nice smooth pace. Okay? Up and down. You can do one arm at a time, or you can do both, both arms. Okay? Same when we're standing. Okay? Up and down. That's our bicep curls. And then we're finishing off the session with our core exercise in the chair. Okay? So again, sitting up tall. Leaning back to engage the tummy muscles. Okay, we don't want you to lean right back onto the chair. Leaning back just so you feel those core muscles engaged. Hands by the side, 
What we're going to do is we're going to do bicycles. So we're going to bring our feet out and in. Nice and slow and controlled. Okay? Now, if you find that's too difficult, do one foot out and in. Nice and slow. Again, aim for about five and then change over the other foot. Okay? Or if you're comfortable, keep those knees coming in towards the body, towards the torso, and then extend it out, keeping the feet off the floor. This is quite a challenging one, okay? So you'll feel this one working. If you need a break in between, you can, okay? So that's the five exercises. Again, working for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, or whatever time you've been working for so far, okay? So, Charlie's come to this, the front of me just, okay? Up tall, 40 seconds on the clock, going in three, two, one, and we're lifting our ladder leg raise up and down, slow and controlled. Aim for five on each leg. If we're seated, we're coming out with the foot, touching the toe off the floor with one foot or both feet. I'll show you seated now in a second. So toes point straight ahead, lift the leg up to the foot off the floor, five, and then change over. Continue that in the chair. Come out with one foot or two feet. Makes it a wee bit harder. Good. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And relax. Okay, our ski your next then. Okay, I'm going to show you really quickly. So foot can come straight back, or if you want back to the side, or if you're in the chair, just come to the side. And as the foot is coming out, we're raising those hands up, okay? The circular one. Going in three, two, one, off we go. 40 seconds. Slow or fast, whatever suits you. Good. Foot can come back, hands come up. Foot can come to the side and back, hands come up. Halfway there, 20 seconds to go. Last 10. Three, two, one, and relax. Next exercise before we come back to that one, bicep curl. So in the chair, long arms, elbows tucked in, same if you're standing. We're bringing the hands up to the shoulders, back down slowly and controlled. Okay? If we're standing, knees soft, feet shoulder width apart, Come up and down with the hands. Ready, steady, go. 40 seconds. Good. Up and down. Good, you can do alternate ones. You can come up with one hand at a time. Or bring the both up, whatever suits you. Good, so maintain that posture. See it down standing. Up and down. Another 15 seconds, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, okay, going back to our skis now. So if we're in the chair, hands up in front, toe to the side. If we're standing, hands come up, foot can go straight back, or we can go back into the side with the toe. Whatever suits you. Going in three, two, one, off we go. Skis. Raising the hands up to the shoulder height, keep that momentum going. Coming up and halfway. We can bring the feet out to the side or back into the side if we want. Again, okay, if you're struggling going backwards, keep it going. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one and relax good and our last one then everybody in the chair sitting down front half of the chair up tall leaning back we're lifting one leg up and extending that leg for the adapted version or one leg in one leg out for the slightly harder version 40 seconds off we go 
hands you can place them at the side of the chair if you want or on your tummy wherever it's comfortable bring the knee up and out you, you'll feel those tummy muscles working this is quite a tough one we're halfway there anyway good make it easier coming out and then with one foot and then change into the other 15 seconds to go whatever's comfortable for you five four three two one and relax good stuff guys well done okay stand up or sitting down shake the legs and arms out okay so that's session two done so we're going to do four of these sessions we're going to try to gradually increase the intensity every week okay all the exercises are low impact you can work to whatever time you want okay so you can go for the whole minute you can do 40 seconds on you can do 30 seconds on okay if you want more of a challenge you can go back and do the whole thing again and do two rounds okay in a wee circuit okay whatever's comfortable for you all right we're going to finish with a wee stretch okay hand across the body bringing the other arm in front of that arm and just pulling it back the wee stretch from the backs of the shoulders good holding for about eight or ten seconds and then we switch over other arm nice and straight across keep the hands off the joints and just pull the hand in that arm in with the other hand holding good and relax next we want to place the hands on the lower back bring the elbows in tuck the chin in towards the chest and push the chest out so we chest stretch in this one good hold in three two one relax shake it out okay um we're going to step out with one foot one foot in front of the other the front leg is nice and straight we're going to lean in as we bend the back knee and push the hips back until you feel a wee stretch in the back of the front leg so front leg straight push those hips back gently lean in till you feel the stretch and hold okay and then change over if we're in the chair on that one heel to the floor toe to the sky lean in slightly and you'll feel that one in the back of the, the leg Okay, hold them for eight or ten seconds on each side and relax. And then the last we one. Okay, back heel flat to the floor, shift the weight into the front leg, use the chair for balance, and we're holding that posture, keeping that back leg nice and straight, stretching the calves at the bottom of the legs, change over. Okay, if we're in the chair, we're just going to come up and down in our calf is okay like our exercise we done earlier and relax okay it's well done that's session two done as i said if you want to go back you can repeat those three sets again okay do a longer workout um if you want more of a challenge stay tuned guys we've got lots of different videos uh, already up on our youtube channels and facebook and twitter pages okay so we've got some Tai Chi up there, we've got some moderate intensity um, exercises, we've got some uh, chair based stuff as well coming. So stay tuned, guys, there'll be lots of content on that over the next few weeks. Okay, I'll be back with another video next week. Okay, um, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to uh, give us a shout. Okay, um, if you'd like to see any more videos or any particular types of exercise videos, please try and give us a shout as well. And remember, Try and stay active and stay at home and we'll see you in the next one.